You know, we're always making decisions, sometimes big, sometimes small. Should I wear a jacket today or should I put on casual summer clothes? You know, to make the best decision, I would need the appropriate data points. What's the weather like outside? What tasks do I have that are going on today? You know, to answer those questions, I may open up a window to see what the weather looks like outside. I could check my phone to see what's going on with my calendar. And those data points have helped me make that appropriate informed decision. So greetings. My name is Thomas Lewis. I'm a solutions engineer with Atlanta Select and welcome to another quick hit video. Quick hit videos are designed to provide you with maximum content in just a little bit of time so that you can go about your day a little bit wiser. So in the last example, making a decision on clothes probably isn't that hard, but when we start talking about our organizations as a whole, that digital experience between our applications, our users and devices, finding the right data points quickly and then being able to discern what is the appropriate information to make that decision can sometimes be a challenge. So in this video, we're gonna show you how we can simplify that complexity and also remove that unnecessary noise by leveraging Splunk observability. So Splunk is a platform that provides uh, different data sources or contexts that feed into Splunk so that you can make those appropriate decisions. So Meraki transfers those appropriate data points from uh, whatever devices they have to the Splunk servers leveraging Syslog protocol. So those data points can include security and events, what's going on with WAN, my appliances, my switches, my access points. Now, after receiving this data, Splunk allows you to search, analyze, and visualize all of that information, providing you with insights in real time. So let's dig in and see what we can do. Rocky dashboard, and here we have our global overview. So this is going to show all the different organizations that, uh, that make up these networks. So uh, here we've got three. We can easily see what type of assets we have running in those different environments, what licenses they're using, what type of licensing models. Uh, and in this uh, case for this lab, we're going to take a look at this Meraki Launchpad. So when I go into this organization, at the very top, I get to see all the devices that make up that org. And then I can see all the networks that consist within this organization and the devices uh, that make up each of those networks. And we can see how many devices they are, how they're functioning, and you can easily pivot and drill down into those appropriate pieces. What I'd like to focus on here is going to be specifically around integrating uh, Splunk Enterprise. So we're going to take a look at the Sao Paulo Cloud Campus Fabric. Now when I go inside this network, I get to see all my clients, all the health and overall pieces, but I can also see how easy it is to integrate Splunk. So if I click on network wide, go to configure and then select general. From here, I can easily drill down and we can see right here we've got reporting and you can select whatever different roles uh, are uh, interesting to you. And then this IP address is literally just uh, feeding it to, uh, to Splunk for us to, to take a look at. So with that, let's pivot over to Splunk and see what this data looks like. So here we are, uh, we're leveraging the Splunk add-on for Cisco Meraki. Uh, and this is going to give us a search field to take a look at all of that syslog data. So if I'm looking at Meraki, I can type in index, I can select Meraki. Uh, if it was the only thing, in this case it is, you could literally just do the index piece and it'll show it. But if you have other different data points, this is how you do the separation. Uh, so from here, we can take a look. This is going to show us all of the events that are transpiring. Now, maybe this is kind of hard to read. How do we discern what's good or what's bad? Maybe I'm looking for a specific network. Uh, in that case, I can you know, update my search field and put in the network name. So as we could see, just pumping this out is now going to give me the events that are taking place, but now I can correlate which networks that's affecting. And in this case, we see a few different networks in here. This is the data center SFO concentrator. We also have Dallas. Now, maybe I want to expand my search and I want to make sure that I'm getting everything from the data center SS SFO concentrator. I can simply select this and say, add to search. This adds the appropriate network name in here. Uh, and now I've, I've made it more granular in what it is that I'm looking for. Now, maybe I wanted to look at Dallas as well. I can simply add the OR field and I could push in Dallas. And now I'm going to get both the SFO concentrator data center piece and then also uh, Dallas. So very, very easy to, to grab what information you want. You can even change this to seven days, 30 days, uh, wherever you're looking to, uh, to grab that you can. 
Now, very, very easy for us to peruse. Let's take a step back and go back to just the, the network name. Let's take a look at how we can do reporting. So maybe I want to take a look at some of the different networks. And here we've got selected fields. If I was doing the network names, I can show all the different values that are affecting uh, or what data that I'm getting. And maybe I want to see what the top values are and create a dashboard. No problem. From here, I can select this network name. I can put in top values. And right here at the top, we could see how it's updated my search field automatically to get that information. But from a visualization standpoint, maybe I want to change this from uh, a bar chart to a pie chart. That's no problem. So right here, I can change this to something that's more appeasing. And if I wanted to, I could simply save this as uh, a new dashboard or an existing dashboard. So we can give this a name, save it to classic. And now when other users log in, they can get the appropriate information that's relevant to your business and you need, your needs right there automatically. So I know this was a very quick video and I hope you had a chance during this uh, few minutes together, a chance to see how easy it is to onboard Splunk and also get the Observity piece up and running so that you can make informed decisions very, very quickly. For all my customers who are watching this from our monthly newsletter, please feel free to click on that demo button or reply button to schedule some time to have some deeper conversations if this is something that makes sense for you. And to all my YouTube subscribers on my channel, please feel free to leave a comment. I wanna hear your input and we'll make next month even better. Thank you all for your time and we look forward to talking with you soon. Have a great day.